what's blooming in floral trends at weddings. Wedding expert Allison McGill joins us now with a beautiful display that smells so nice right now and, and tips on how to really save on your big day when it comes to flowers because they can be very expensive. Oh yes, they can be. And, <laughs> the, and in the pandemic, the prices have gone up for everything, as we know. Mm -hmm. And florals have been really impacted because there's the whole notion of import costs and there actually was a floral shortage. So we're getting back to normal volumes. Um, but it is the decor piece that's going to make your wedding day. Right. Um, I want to thank Crystal from Snowberry Botanicals who put all of this together for me. She worked with me on these trends. And we're, we're inspiring and innovating here. So let's start with this guy here. This is kind of our trending bouquet. So this it's, is kind it's, of my favorite because I'm loving the subtleties of the white and the green and just like it's just like a free form. It is a free form. You're absolutely right. So it's architectural. It's about silhouette. Like it's about stems. We're actually seeing stems with flowers, yeah. which we didn't for a long time. Lots of texture. This is something that would be great, a bouquet if you're getting married in an art gallery with a really simple sheath gown. We've got this really dramatic trailing amaranth. I hope I said that right. Mm -hmm. You did. You okay, did. great. You're a floral person, Annette. Um, <laughs> so I just love this bouquet. You know, we've got keep dahlias. touching like to pet everything. <laughs> I know. It's fuzzy. <laughs> it's fuzzy and textural, which I love. Um, but again, and different so this is why we're here we're talking about inspiring ideas I had to bring some Barbie core inspired florals so Barbie core is all about pink we're seeing it everywhere mm -hmm. it's gonna be around for a while the movies coming out next year with Margot Robbie so I mean you can't lose with pink another trend happening in here is look no greenery so it's oh, like right. very little greenery yeah so again very local and very seasonal and unexpected which I love mm -hmm. and we've gone away from the really uh, I guess it was Martha Stewart started that the very very tightly packed roses the very right? tightly packed roses so everything's like open and blossomy and bl like blue sawny almost I feel like it's very fluttery and fashionable mm -hmm. and not necessarily all the same like not everything's the same height or the same length or whatever I, I like this yeah and we're also seeing like notice all these bouquets they're kind of smaller like mm -hmm. we're, we're past the mega bouquet yes um, so talking Talking about this clover, I want to segue into this. This is a local uh, seasonal based story of a bouquet. All of these florals are like from 20 kilometers away from uh, our florist studio. She lives in Erin, Ontario. And we've got dahlias and roses and this is a great way to save on your florals and also be great to the environment because mm -hmm. you're not paying import costs. Like all of these beautiful things can be had so close to home. And That's again, really beautiful. it's really contained. I love all the autumn colors. So we're very yes. seasonal here. This is a fun little one. This is like, this is sort of the, the budget friendly option. We've got some clematis here with a really beautiful uh, silk ribbon. This is the drama is in the ribbon. So again, when we're talking about like, if you don't have a lot of money, go quality over quantity because this is a simple statement that really looks strong. Mm -hmm. And and what would you what would you pair that with? I mean, you're not going to go. I, I'm thinking like another sheath dress. Yeah, kind you're not going to have a, You're probably not going to have a ball gown with this. This is a great little bridesmaid bouquet. Yeah. Um, you know, great ideas. But again, these are not inexpensive. Everybody sort of thinks inexpensive means a lot of inexpensive flowers packed in. Mm -hmm. But go for quality over quantity. And this is actually very Hollywood. We're seeing kind of like that minimalist. It's also a bit abstract, right? It is. It is. Speaking Hollywood, we have this little guy down here. JLo inspired. She had this very different bouquet. She had white roses. She had Spanish moss, which fit in with her, her, theme. Know, her very southern yes. wedding. And again, look at the size of this little guy. Very small, but these roses are incredible. They're so like open and full and they smell amazing. So lots of floral options. Mm -hmm. And and are we talking price ranges? Like are they a lot more expensive than flowers were like say before the pandemic? Florals are up to two to three times more expensive. Okay. And so it, heading into 2023, we don't know what those costs are going to be, but they're probably not going to go down. Mm -hmm. um, so again, it says I brought bouquets, but these are ideas for all of your florals. So you can go pink with all of your florals for your centerpieces. And you know, how great would this sort of idea be for and an installation table. and a yeah. table? So again, just work with your florists and be creative. And I always think outside of the box. This is what we're talking about here. And I love that the creativity that people are doing with it and just make it a little more artistic. Right, maybe think of things that you don't see in the florist greenhouse or refrigerator kind of thing, but think of, about what you might see outside and, and go for that. Then. Absolutely, and tap into fashion trends and pop culture and all that great stuff. Okay, so happy you're with us again. So I'll I'll, I'll see is my podcast. Is your, yeah, drops every Thursday. New episode coming out this week. We're talking fashion. Uh, we have one next week about florals, actually. So okay. very timely. Alrighty.
all that details up at chch.com. Great to have you in again. Thanks, Annette. And you make our studio smell so nice today. Ah, beautiful. <laughs>